Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we are going to be going over an after patch method for the Cho to the Mo, which lives up there at the Dynasty. Uh, yes, Mogwin, or not Mogwin, excuse me, Moog, I believe that is, or Mog, however it is pronounced. We are also going to be going over an improved rune farm exploit as well. So unfortunately they patched two of the methods that allowed us to take out this boss easily. Now, one of the methods that they did patch is this one right here which requires his shackle in the latest patch 1.05 you can no longer use the shackle behind the mist door what happens when you do use it is the boss will no longer remain still uh he will actually end up coming towards you like a wild beast not to mention they also fixed the arrow method so even if you stand on top of the tombstone and you shoot past the barrier you can no longer cause any sort of damage whether that be poison or bleed nothing works so the only way to actually deal with this boss is unfortunately going past the barrier yet we are going to be using a glitch what we want to do is head over towards our memorized spell we are going to use fire's deadly sin and we are going to be using the combination blood flame blade you may know this method because i have just recently uploaded a video yet uh you can essentially use the black flame blade as well what we want to have for this second part is this right here, which is going to be the Comet Azure. Once you have that, this is all you're going to need. It's just these three. Of course, if you do not have the Blood Flame, then I guess you could use the Black Flame. So just primarily, you'll just need those three. As for your Mix Flask, you are going to want to use the Cerulean Hidden Tier. This is going to completely negate any FP that you uh, use. So you'll be able to pretty much use a maximum amount until, of course, the buff goes down. Then when we go to our Ashes of War, we want to click on it. And then we want to go all the way down to the bottom here. And we want to choose the Flame of Redemy. Now, I know a lot of you have seen this as well. But this is what we are going to be using as a combination to take out this boss. Also, not to mention, it helps to use a Mimic or some sort of summon just to distract the boss so that you can use the glitch successfully. We are going to use the Deadly Flame Sin, and we are going to then use the Blood Flame Blade right afterwards. Once you do that, summon down your Mimic or one of your summons. If you have some poison, use it, because what this will do is help add some damage. This is not completely necessary. You do not need the Poison Bone Dart. I just used it as, again, an extra way of dealing damage. When you are close enough, use your Ashes of War. Because when you use it three times, what will happen is the enemy will then become stunned or down. You then want to go up close, stand nearby, so that your blood flame and the mix of the deadly flame are combined together to cause the bleed damage. Then use your mix flask, and then finally use the comet Azure. Once you have done that, you can then see that the boss has been taken out within 30 seconds. Quite easy if you use this current method. Use any type of talismans that can increase your magic. It is not completely necessary, yet it will help that health bar go down quite, quite drastically. You do want to make sure that you do that before he does raise the staff, because that will suck the blood out of you and then overall end the game. Let's also go over something that's really unique that still works. If you use this glitch over towards the dragon respawn, which is located at the fort height, you can then go towards the dragon and perform the glitch. We will just use the same exact steps that we used on the boss. We'll activate the blood flame and then the fire's deadly sin. When you do this, you can either sit still or you can continue to slash to make this go by a lot faster. This is what I would highly recommend if you are playing offline or if you are playing online and you accidentally took out the NPC at the beginning which is then going to be located at the Rose Church. Let's say that you do not have the incantation called Fire's Daily Sin. There is a great way in which you can skip straight to the Royal City to grab the painting, and I will leave a link down below, or I'll leave it right here up towards the top right. You'll be able to click it. If you're on mobile, I'm not sure if it pops up. Also, where you want to stick is directly right here because there are some spots where the blood flame will not reach the dragon. So I highly recommend just sticking right here where I just threw the glowing rock, activate the blood flame blade. And then as the dragon twitches, 
you are going to want to run directly back to the Lost Grace, like so. You just saw it twitch. Then you'll run back or sprint with the mount. Make sure that you are definitely sprinting because you want to get there as fast as possible. And by that time when you exit out, you'll notice that the runes have been added. You can rinse and repeat this until you are satisfied. I will show you the amount of runes located right here at the end. And this is pretty much the end of the video. I appreciate everyone that has supported the channel and continues to stop by to check out the videos. If you are new, I definitely appreciate you subscribing and giving this channel a chance. And I appreciate anyone who has used the thanks button down below. And I give a massive shout out to everyone that is still a member of our channel. So thank you too. Other than that, I'll see you all on the next video.